Hey, it's 6.52. I'm a judge at Moorcliffe Farms. So you think you can cook competition and I'm very late. It's not so you think you can fiddle? <laughs> it's so easy. <beastly. laughs> Great marketing idea. And tonight, Miss Melissa will be vlogging because I have to actually eat and judge the competition, which is going to be so much fun. We have seven minutes. Yeah, we're late. Oops. We're walking down right now to La Palette. A little bit fast. A little bit fast. It is 6.56. You probably can't see it. This is me and Nikki, and we're going to be doing So You Think You Can Fiddle, I mean, So You Think You Can Cook. <laughs> So we're here with uh, Nikki and myself, Melissa Ramos from Sexy Food Therapy, and I am vlogging and I am just capturing uh, two of the judges, sexy judges. My name is Joy of Joyous Health. I'm a holistic nutritionist here in Toronto, and uh, my whole philosophy is about eating real food. So I'm really excited to eat some food tonight. She is one of the nutrition rock stars out there. I have to ask Nikki, have you? What do you? What are your thoughts on fiddleheads? You're mean. What are your thoughts on fiddleheads? I think they're fantastic. They're really healthy. Are they? For you. Oh yeah, and they're kind of curly. Hanging. Hanging. But it, I, hear, I hear if you rub them really fast, they straighten out. <laughs> the moral is, they've never had fiddleheads. <laughs> Okay, it's the first time for everyone. Actually, that's a lie. Popping my fiddlehead cherry tonight. <laughs> so we have the judges here. There's Nikki and a whole bunch of judges, the nutrition all-stars who I know very well. A big bowl. More judges. But here is an amazing intro to the fiddleheads. It is a uh, warm fiddlehead salad. I paired fiddleheads, royal mushrooms, and duck in this dish. All right, here is what a fiddlehead looks like. Okay. Let's see what the judges think. There's Megan Telpner, Julie Danilek. A girl walking by. What are we saying, Julie? I'm saying that fiddleheads are the best. Why? Why vitamins. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm uh, doing a fiddlehead three ways. We've got uh, we had a raviolo, we had a puree, and I'm doing a, a candied one as well. So we're going to a coin sort of stuff. So we're still talking, but I needed to tell you guys what I thought. And my favorite part of this dish is this candied fiddlehead, which is um, a fiddlehead candied with sugar. Oddly enough, the bitter and the sweet really work very well together. Puree is good, though it's a bit bitter. Really, the taste of the fiddlehead. And the ravioli, well, he, really, he doesn't like ricotta ravioli. All in all, a pretty good dish. It's yeah. actually really good. I, love, I actually really like the bitterness in the dish. I thought it was it's a very underrated flavor. Yeah. Basically, I'm trying to incorporate fiddleheads as many ways as possible. Okay. Uh, what I'm doing is a butter poached <laughs> lobster okay. with a, a fiddlehead bird blend okay. on top of a risotto of pearl barley, fiddleheads, roasted butternut squash, and walnuts. Also, I do a little saute of veg that has peppers, carrots, patty pan squash, and some fiddleheads. I'm also doing an ahi tuna tartare that has fiddleheads in it as well. And I'm also doing a fruit smoothie that has fiddleheads and various different fruits. A smoothie? And kiwis and whatnot. Really? Risotto with fiddleheads? Fur blanc and lobsters, ahi tuna tartare with fiddleheads. So, we are just going to make a consensus here. Is the fiddlehead front and center? Well, it's not really, but fiddlehead is a little bit uh, bitter in any case. So the way that he's incorporated in all three dishes is unique. This was a bit sweet and savory. It was a, there was a kiwi fiddlehead. It was like a smoothie. So it was a smoothie. Really nice, fresh, bright fruit flavors. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the tuna tartare was very fresh, very good. They he incorporated some wasabi eggs. That was very good. Mm -hmm. Right. Kind of the barley risotto. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Oh. So we're happy. Fiddlehead tastes like gold in this dish. <laughs> <laughs> Little curls of gold. 
this is a little appetizer, uh, a little reflection on what's happening, and a little reflection of uh, what we have fresh coming out for now. So, enjoy. <laughs> he told me to do it. You're such a savage. <laughs> okay, so what do we got? So, bison carpaccio and fiddlehead inside, and I guess fiddlehead outside. And this is apparently a little garlic mayo. And that's how we do it, right? That's it. Just pop it in. There's no graceful way of doing this, is there? There isn't really, is there? I can just say for the record that I have never wanted you more than right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to talk about it right away because the flavor, when you will taste it in about two seconds and you'll see. It's like a cream cheese fiddlehead filling. On the outside it's um, carpaccio. It's, it's, it's nice. <laughs> it's very, very overwhelming. The cheese is very, like, powerful. Awesome. It's almost a bit too much cheese, but the idea is very creative, very unique. That I appreciate very much, and I love the way it's played. And we have our scorecard is where? The scorecard? Oh, the scorecard. Hey, 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 hey. hey. This is the owner of North Farms, Farm, so she's uh, Mrs. Fiddlehead. So what do you think of the event? The event was over the top. We had so much fun. We had VIP judges, the chefs were amazing, and the venue was great. Okay. We had fun. Yeah, the food and was amazing. We all had fun too. I'm happy. And the winner is? Oh, no way. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.